Hello, everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon playthrough. Last time we finally arrived in Lively Town and managed to join the Expedition Society. Even got them to repeal the child labor laws they had for it. It was just an amusing thing. But otherwise, it was mostly just a keep on at it and help us create the Pokemon Nexus type thing while getting used to Lively Town, which is nice. Of course, we see Jirachi took up a boss square, but oh well. We'll have to trust in the game to give us much satisfaction throughout. <laughs> From YouTube chat, I made it here today. Sorry for missing the previous streams. No problem whatsoever. Uh, I, I definitely tried to get the the archives up and running without skipping any days, just so people can rewatch the streams if they so choose. But yeah, nothing else to really say. We got introduced to I forget the well the one, but like Crocodile and then his mid evolution minion. They're obviously... I assume they're going to be the Team Meanies, Team Skull of this game. We have yet to can... We have yet to touch base on whatever turned Waylord to stone. And, like, whatever, like, evils have yet to, like, uh... Come on in and uh, affect Serene Village. Although, come to think of it... I'm now I'm now, I'm now a little worried that, <laughs> that in actuality if we ever do go back to Serene Village the darkness and evils will have actually <laughs> come by cuz they made a note specifically to say just like oh nothing bad has happened in Serene Village oh but if you leave maybe you'll be affected by the bad things that are happening out there in the world Serene Village is safe it's not going to be safe if we get back there Things are going to be not good if we go back. Not to mention, like, it feels like we haven't really made much progress towards unraveling the mysteries, which I do not mind. I do not mind that we have yet to begin unraveling the mysteries. What are the Behi... Behihim? Or ho however you say those names, those weird clay pot looking motherfuckers. Like, we have no idea what their deal is. We haven't touched base with Deoxys again. We haven't touched base with Rayquaza that's running away from the planet. Haven't touched base... Well, I guess technically we touched base with the Waylord. Pokemon are being turned to stone at random. Nobody knows why the mail got dropped off in Serene Village. And then, like, immediately after we saved the Polipper that delivered the mail. <laughs> <laughs> You're settling into your new job and home. The world's end or whatever can wait. <laughs> the, w the world's end can wait until after we unpacked all the furniture. But enough ramblings. We shall, I assume, go on. To oh, and we also never uh, learned why the Revelation Mountain was sacred. Again, I, I can only presume that a revelation is going to happen there. <laughs> but, ba ba ba. I'm, we are going to continue and see if uh, what I presume to be this game's Team Meanies, Team Skull, will start to cause us problems. And we shall see. <laughs> be he him. Uh, play on B-E-M, or a Bug-Eyed Man, a term for aliens. Ah, be he him. Mm, B-E-M. Meh. It's just like, I, it, the spelling was always weird, so I never knew. But be he yim. Yim, that's what I was probably missing. But let us go and see what the world has in store for me. Oh, we never talked to you? We live in the for with the forests and move as slowly as the forest. But forests don't move, but you do move. You are a liar. Also, a YouTube uh, comment revealed something to me that made me slightly sad. Apparently, you can go up to the uh, the special tree place at any time back in Serene Village. And I never... I never went down the one path to go there. I'm a fool. 
Their pre-evolution L-Gim is a play on LGM or Little Green Man. <laughs> Daddy, I want to help too. We'll move all this in no time. Th this is not what they mean by bring your uh, children to work day. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, yes. Uh, if I recall, we want to bring the unknown with us to get that bibbidi ba bibbidi ba like it because the unknown get an experience bonus so we're gonna definitely bring them along let me double check to make sure we have all the connection orb missions activated oh okay you apparently have new one activated I need to rescue shield on place the water continent huh I don't think I've noticed the continent being, like, uh, highlighted before. It is a three-star, but at the same time, so was the <laughs> help Bayleaf get to the door mission. We'll jot you down, but now I want to see. I want to check and see. Yeah, they all say water continent. I find that kind of funny. Which means that some of these other ones will lead us beyond this continent eventually. Now let's see. Expedition list. Battle challenge against Mankey. No. Because I think I want like a... <laughs> we need to go to the air continent for that one. Hmm. I guess we could help Cherum, since it's a little bit longer than the other ones. Will allow us to use the unknown's experience boost a little bit more. So to the leafy highlands we go. <laughs> have you met Grobile yet? I do not believe so. But we have met the. <laughs> we did meet the Voice of Life. Seen a bunch of other cameos on here. Well, yep, we have the super experience unknown. And I believe we should have... Actually, let's uh, jump back, because I need to check my inventory. If you have a paranoia, I need to make sure my inventory is good so that we don't die. It's not a battle one, but still... Bring rocks along, if I ever remember to use them. Some elixirs, I need to remember to eat that protein. And a decent amount of revival seeds and blast seeds. Yep, should be good. Need to remember to eat that protein so I can punch extra hard. Yep, off to the leafy highlands. Unknown is activated. Let's go. Despite being six streams in, we're still relatively early when it comes to the gameplay loop, which is very funny to me. Mine. Oh, hey, hidden power. I think that's just cool. Super critical, I'll take that. Which is odd, because I don't think we've really, like, uh... It doesn't feel like we've ever like, wasted time or anything. We've just been moseying along, and I just, I, I enjoyed the pacing of the game so far. So long as the pacing doesn't harm the, like, end of the game, I should be fine with it. Pacing is all in the, like, uh, execution of the ending to me, I think. Trap proof. Always nice to get early to swap out with at the end. If there's better options, I shall punch you from afar. Which reminds me, I need to. You know, I just said, all oh, the protein, all oh, the protein, all oh, the protein, and then I forgot the goddamn protein. I am a fool. Did fill my belly a bit, so we'll just call it a tactical forget. You will die. Numb.
unknown grew to a level. Good for you. I can't remember the last time, like, a non-Gabriel and non-me party member actually leveled up. Maybe Deerling? That was a long time ago. If this game somehow finagles a way for our classmates to join us in whatever final battle there is, that would be amazing. I do not expect it, but I would like it. And I guess as we wander around, I shall ramble upon other things. Like I have, uh... Like, uh... What's the word? Been looking at, like, what games to play in the future. Because we are nearing the end of, like, how many Mystery Dungeon games there are. We're gonna run out sooner than later. So I've been looking at, uh... What other games I could stream following this? Oh, hey, level up. This double experience already paying off. Good job, Unknown. So I've been making a list of, like, uh, games to, like, uh, stream or, like, stream again. Like, uh, I never completed the golden ending to Digimon Survive, so we might do that sometime. And then... I need to jump back and play Breath of the Wild at some point because we were... So, I think we got one Divine Beast in, and then I think I got the... I forget, like, what... I think I was playing that, then I got the itch to play Pokemon Emerald. And I think that was also before I had a proper, like, uh, stream schedule. Everyone's getting confused in the tunnel. Yeah, I just have lots of games that I need to play at some point. We'll get towards them. <laughs> Although it'd be hol Like, even though it would never happen, my brain goes, it would be hilarious if by the time we finished Super Mystery Dungeon, they announced the next Mystery Dungeon game. It will never happen, but it would be hilarious. Digimon or Pokemon Fusions? I, I hardly know anything about Pokemon Fusions, so I'm not sure about that. Digimon, I definitely, because I... Like, on the one hand, I do want to play Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. Okay, I'm just getting all the super criticals. <laughs> Does this stack? Okay, sure, let's go for super criticals. RNG build. But yeah, like, a part of me really does want to go and play, like, Hacker's Memory. But at the same time, properly playing <laughs> that game, like, uh, was not all that. It was mostly, like, all the secondary stats the game wants you to manage in. Blah, blah, blah. In, like, the, uh... I'm already... My brain is just mush. It's not Hacker's Memory. Because Hacker's Memory is the one I'm going to get to. Cyber Sleuth. Yeah, it's my brain. But, yeah, like, all the secondary stats... That you have to manage annoyed me when I was playing through it. The evolve, then digivolve, then evolve, and digivolve to... This is the super critical build. You know what? Let's get rid of trap proof. I think that'll be funny. <laughs> Pokemon's uh, fusion would be great, or Xenoverse. I don't think Xenoverse would be a good stream game for me. I played the first Xenoverse, but then only got a part way through Xenoverse 2 before I started getting bored with it. Maybe I should, like, I don't know, find a way to just link a text document for my streams. To be like, here are the games I'm thinking of streaming. For people to ponder. Mm. 
eat an apple. So we don't die. Oh, I meant Pokemon Xenoverse, the fan-made Pokemon game. Never heard of it. I have heard of Pokemon Rejuvenation. But then I took one look at its TV trope page, and one of the first lines in, or like, one of the descriptors in it is like, This is a very, very difficult Pokemon game. Using actual competitive strategies. Like, oh! So my least favorite part of Pokemon Emerald, the Battle Frontier, here to torment me again! Like, might give it a shot, but super difficulty isn't my thing. Don't use. Oh. Well, that's mean. Why do you have a room-clearing move? How dare you. Sniper move and diddly D. The Pokemon won't get the nightmare sleep, yawning, or napping status condition. The status will go away when the Pokemon goes to the next floor. But how dare you have a room clearing move die. You bastard. <laughs> Fan games have a habit of leaning into difficulty a fair bit. Which bothers me. Like, I don't mind some difficulty, but it just kind of gets to a point, at least with, like, the Battle Frontier, what I experienced. Just, like, it wasn't fun anymore. Plus, it kind of runs against my want to use, like, Pokemon that I just, I want to use. I want to be able to use, like, Mawile and stuff. The unoptimal Pokemon. Some big ears? Nah. Because, again, like... <laughs> the Battle Frontier has forever tainted my want to ever play any, like, ooh, difficulty stuff. Okay, a level up for unknown. That's kind of odd. We're lower level than you. Why are you... Well, you are going at a three times rate. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> From mom, just like, hey, you're like ten levels higher than us. What the hell is going on? Because he's super motivated. <laughs> How are you getting double experience points? Through the power of a motivated unknown. Because, uh... Every day or so, your uh, three of your Pokemon compatriots get a double times experience bonus. But if it's an unknown, apparently it's an additional game mechanic where unknowns that are motivated get three times and then give double time to anybody else on the team. So if I made a full, like, uh, double time team with an unknown, they'd get crazy crazy bonuses and boosts. <laughs> There's this really cool PMD fan game called PMD Origins, although that's not quite ready to stream yet. Hmm. I might have to look into that. I do have a few Pokemon fan games based off of Explorers of Sky that I need to, like, relook into and maybe stream one day. I can't help but pour water out of my head when I'm happy. That's kind of disturbing. I don't want to drink your brain juice. And connections have spread even farther. And we just get some more expedition diddlies. If I ever would we want to escape, we have an unknown that's giving us lots of experience points. Hey, Spoink, you bitch. Give me, give me the, the diddly D. So now the power is mine, in my hand. And we shall replace the super critical with another power boost so that we can do more upfront damage. Rather than relying on the RNG, I don't think I've gotten a single crit. Could be that my memory is just shit, but who knows. We have like a ton of other games. Like I do want to, <laughs> like uh, one game that I do want to, well two games that I want to eventually get to are the like, two very prominent Werewolf the Apocalypse like, uh, 
games. Because, sadly, most of the World of Darkness games are pseudo-text adventures that don't look all that interesting to me. Like, I think I have a few of them in my, like, Steam library just because of bundles and stuff. Might check them out just as a curiosity. <laughs> and speaking of the World of Darkness, uh, for a bit there I was binging through um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, the very acclaimed... Arp, like, a uh, action... Well, kind, yeah, kind of action RPG made in the Source Engine for Vampire the Masquerade. And, uh, one funny thing is that apparently if you play long enough, the game slowly starts to go insane, and all of the locks in the world, like, locks on doors, were changed to, like, beer bottles for, n for some reason. Like, they were still functionally locks, but their models swapped for no reason. And it's crazy. <laughs> from my Twitch chat, hello there. You got the Riolu from the question or choose by yourself. I chose for myself. They just, the brain just wanted to go that way. If I ever replay the Mystery Dungeon games, I would definitely go by the questionnaire. It's just like a bit of fresh air. Of course, with the exception of uh, GTI. GTI does not have a quiz. But yeah, my first playthrough is I like to have control of the Pokemon that I'm playing with. I don't know, just something with my brain. Well, good thing you used Flame Charge there, Gabriel. It sealed the one move that we don't really you don't really use. So Drowsy was kind of nice that day. <laughs> okay, so what Pokemon you got from the question? I do believe that it was Squirtle that I got from the questionnaire. Which is kind of fitting because my first Mystery Dungeon game was Blue Rescue Team. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> Could roll the dice for GTI or use an online PMD quiz for the fun of it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Some some fan out there would create a quiz for GTI. It's just like, well, if well, if the poke, well, no, if it's like, uh, if Chunsoft won't do it, I'll do it. <laughs> Which is funny. I'll definitely have to look into that for like future playthroughs, and then maybe use it for or like if there's like a general quiz of modifiers, something like a uh, to decide like my partner in the future. If I ever replay these games. Because I really do enjoy these games, so it is entirely possible my brain will talk me into making these like an annual thing. Like, <laughs> since there are four main Mystery Dungeon games. Like, for like each set of three months in the year, play a Mystery Dungeon game. There's a general PMD uh, personality quiz online, but it's, uh, I just compare, like, if you get a fire type, it's tepic as up. That would work for GTI. One second. I shall swap out something like this tunnel wand, and now we will talk to the scared one. Peekaboo indeed, small child thing. Ever heard of the fan-made Pokemon game Pokemon Insurgents? I have not. Bye, gotta go. Thank you for joining while you can. Hope you have a good day. Thank you, Peekaboo! Yeah, I've like, <laughs> I, I have my Word document of like various games that I might want to check out and play on stream at a later date still open so that after my stream I can go and look you know what let's continue through the dungeon because we have unknown and unknown gives us more experience so we can use this as a grinding opportunity but yeah like uh, 
to quickly jump back, there are the two Werewolf the Apocalypse games that I'm interested in. Is One is a text RPG. I think it's called Heart of the Forest. And then the other one was... I forget. It's a 3D action game that people say is just like... Eh, it's kind of like a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 kind of game. It's like, eh, I don't care. Just give me a good, good time. Would you like to escape? No, I would like to continue. Besides, I got it on sale, so... A fun PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 romp. Why not? Huzzah! Level up time for the boy. Then, of course, I also want to replay Tales of Symphonia. It's been years since I've played Tales of Symphonia. And I'd like to play it on stream, especially because there's a mechanic that I've never, like, actually played towards. So it would be interesting to actively go for that mechanic. You come fight me. I'm not going to step out. Well, that's just mean. I tried to go to the left, but the game said no, because of confusion, I guess. Damn you. At least it's... Ah, that's not an AoE attack. It looks like an AoE attack, but it's not. Everything is just going weird in this room. Another super critical gone. Why raise my criticals when I can raise my base attack, and thus my criticals? <laughs> Keep tra uh, track and writing new ideas is good. Yep. Also feels good to tick things off that you've done. Yep. Like if I actually make a- oh. You're supposed to be a non-traitor, you unknown fuck. You blasted me more than all these enemies have. We have a ton of orin berries. So I shall nom. <laughs> Splash is so silly. It is indeed. Especially in this game. Unknown, you are doing this unintentionally now? That is what I know. You bastard. Yeah, sure, why not? There, now you have a one chance of hitting me, but a multi-chance of hitting somebody that's not me. <laughs> a continuation of Splash is so silly. What if I was somewhere slightly different now? Huh, punk? <laughs> the silliest. If you're curious, Pokemon Insurgents is very dark, but the story is probably phenomenal in my opinion. Hmm. I'll definitely uh, look into it at some point, maybe. Seems potentially interesting. Like, I'll at least, like, give ones a, a quick look-see. Because it doesn't hurt to give them a glance, a gander. It's just ones that go, hey, you know, <laughs> we're a super competitive one. Is just like, oh, oh no. Not exactly what I desire from my Pokemon games. Especially because, like, unless they severely retooled it so that the everything was just a bit more balanced. Like, I don't know, just like, I don't think difficulty in a Pokemon fan hack would be very fun for me. Oh, I also need to get to Deltarune at some point. Well, Deltarune episodes one and two. I need to get to them ev eventually, because I think last year I played Undertale for the first time, like, even though I obviously knew a bunch of the story and stuff. It still got me emotional. The moments were really good. And then I also want to eventually play Undertale Yellow, the fan game prequel that I hear, <laughs> heard a lot about. Like how the head of like the music company that was handi handling Undertale's soundtrack was kind of a dick. 
and Toby Fox himself had to descend from on high to tell him off. <laughs> that was a fun thing. <laughs> munch, munch, munch. Oh, hey! <laughs> we didn't do the sliding <laughs> thing, so I knew things were gonna happen. <laughs> kind of amusing that Ma Wiles' false mouth is also nom nomming, which is hilarious. One game that could be cool to see you play on stream is Cassette Beasts. I don't know if I have that. I think it might confuse with one of the other things, but I think I've heard about it, so maybe, maybe. Uh, it, it genuinely was my favorite game of last year over Baldur's Gate 3. Hmm. Splash makes more sense when you know its Japanese name is instead Hop. Huh. Deltarune pretty damn good. Only two chapters in. I've uh, enjoyed it more than the original. Hmm. We'll definitely have to give it a look-see then. Now, let's see if I can remember these characters' voices. You two are s sure have some good appetites on you. I like to see that. Eat up so that you have plenty of energy to take on some grand adventures. Thanks, Arkin. Is it Arkin or Archin? I think Arkin. Hmm. That's what we try to do. But, you know, Arkin, we never see you around the town. Where do you always go on explorations? Oh, across the sea. Across the sea? That's right. But I can't actually fly myself, so I have to ride on Lapras to get there. Lapras? Gabriel, we talked to Lapras like two days ago. They said we need adult supervision. The Lapras travel liner, of course. It leaves from the port here. What, you guys haven't been? Do you want to come with me? C can we really? If you're really going to fill out the world map of yours, I think you've got to. Shouldn't you get out? Uh, get it out of the way? Yeah, and it's got to get be exciting to visit a whole other land across the sea. Thanks for the offer, Arkin. We'll definitely take you up on it. All right, if that's what you want, come along with me tomorrow and eat up well tonight. You're going to need your energy. Yeah! Interesting. Well, it seems we're going to another continent today. Chapter 13. Across the sea. Across the sea. Across the sea. I have no idea what to rhyme with C that would fit the tune. Give it your all out there, team! Yeah! Alrighty, shall we make for the harbor? Yep, we're riding that Lapras travel liner. We should go to the harbor. Well, first things first, we need to glance around, see if there's any fallen items. I accidentally hit the button. I'm a fool. See if there's any, like, fallen orin berries, reviver seeds. I like the Expedition Society music. Ah, we found an apple. Oh, you managed to rope Arkin into your adventures today, hmm? Oh, so you'll be taking the Lapras Travel Liner today. Lovely. I wouldn't mind a little cruise. It's not really a cruise. It's a... It's more like a raft that's alive. History has much to teach us. Stop by next time and I'll share its lessons with you, Neon. I still like that Ma Wile is in this game in a prominent role. Well, I guess maybe not a prominent role, but a, in the guild, which I like. Actually, it's pronounced Archon. Eh, I am a fool. It's not my fault English is weird. Oh, great, it's you. You've, you've got Archon with, with you today? If Mr. Crocodile were here, things would be different, believe me. Where are you, Mr. Crocodile? Is Mr. Crocodile actually going to turn into stone? Huh? The harbor? It's a straight line from here. You can't miss it. A straight line. There's only one. I think that guy didn't like his existence as a zigzagoon. Ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. I have some fresh apples to sell ya. I think I think I have one that's in my inventory I need to go grab. Darn you. We have like lots of games 
on my list that I need to get through. And I need more than more on my list that I need to actually add to my list. Oh yeah, I forgot. A gold looplet. We have lots of looplets. Oh, nope. I guess that one apple that got sent here was not super sparkling after all. By the way, let's see. What do you got to sell, Mr. Kecleon? An apple? Oh, yeah, that progress device. Let me read about you again. In a dungeon where a progress device has been installed, you won't lose items or pokey when you faint. Of course, you can save your adventures, too. It's interesting, but I don't know. <laughs> it seems like a niche thing. The Expedition Society's theme is fittingly adventurous while still playful and silly-sounding. A good blend. <laughs> like this ragtag group. They are a fun little ragtag group. They're just a bunch of silly, silly little people. Ba, ba, ba. Dee, 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 dee. I'm proud of my flotation sack, but I wonder if I could swim without it. Suddenly you drowned. Hey, uh, hello, hello! We are continuing our adventures, and apparently we're going to cross the sea. Hello, Archon. Taking the kids out for a little fun today. It's a lovely day for it. What fun. Hmm, I'd rather it was just for fun, but I'm afraid it's just another day of work. But this kind of work is fun, too. I, for one, am totally pumped. What's this? You even have kids working for you now? Yeah, we're part of the Expedition Society. Really? I thought children weren't allowed to join the Expedition Society. Don't ask me why, but the boss approved it this time. I guess there's no arguing it then. Well, if it's for work, then I guess I'll just have to make an exception. Even if you are still children, I suppose two society members like yourselves can ride without an adult. Really? Thanks, Lapras! I guess this is there so that if you find dungeons or expeditions across the sea, you can now go do them. It just needed to be unlocked. Neat. But I'll go along with you this first time, just in case. First, we'll have to get you some passes, and then... Passes? You'll need a pass to cross the ocean to another continent, of course. Once you've brought yourself a pass, you can use it as many times as you like. You can buy Lapras liner passes from the Kecleon shop here in town. But we'll need Pokey, right? We have lots of Pokey. If Pokey is going to be an issue, why not just have your guardian here pay for you? <laughs> ha, me? Guess I have to say yes here. Which is funny, we're probably richer than Archon. And that's all there is to it. I don't care where we go, just give us the cheapest passes you've got. Always glad to serve. Arkin dug out just enough pa pokey and bought two Lapras liner passes. Thanks a million, Archon. Thank you for shopping with us. We look forward to serving you again. <laughs> Archon immediately deciding this was not worth it today. <laughs> so this Lapras is male. I was just, like, kind of thinking this one might be an XP for the one that led us to the hidden land and explorers, but I forgot the voice that I gave to him. I see you went and bought yourself some Lapras Liner Passes. Then climb aboard. All right! We're going across the ocean! Look at the shining sun. Oh, Latios and Latios. Is bad things gonna happen? Uh, Latios! I can't keep going! Are these the same ones from Rescue Team? Don't give up now, Latios! If we stop now, they'll get us! You have to keep flying! We have to reach Time Travel Lake! Huh. There's a place called Time Travel Lake. Is that where the Celebes of the past live? before. Oh, look at the ocean. It looks so nice. Kind of purpley. Wake up, sleepyheads. We're just about to land. Ha! Huh? What? Uh, when did we fall asleep? I feel like I've been sleeping for hours. Where do we end up anyway? Ooh. Neat. 
lots of Pokemon here. Uh, I guess my brain is still sleeping because I've got no idea where we are. I'm completely lost. Why don't we fire up the Expedition Gadgets map and have a look? What in the... The, the air continent? We... What? We... We came all the way to the air continent? Lively Town is over here, so... Jesus! It's pretty far, huh? All you had to do was take us to some little island near the town! How could you dump me here, Lapras? Me? You're the one who gave these kids passes to the air continent. Uh, I did. I never even looked at the passes that I bought. Which is hilarious. He just wanted the cheapest ones. Got sent all the way across the world. And now you're third town in the game. <laughs> Sorry, kids, and this is your first trip overseas and everything. Look at me ruining your first big trip because I wasn't paying attention. We're totally fine with this. We came all this way, so let's at least have a look around. Um, just a little bit then. Well, this is Barum Town, anyway. It's got a cafe and shops and all just like you in Lively Town. You can go exploring dungeons from here, too. All the dungeons on the air continents can be reached from right here, in fact. All of them. Immediately. Welcome to Rescue Team. Ah, oh, so this is the Rescue Team continent. Neat. Kind of sad we didn't go to Pokemon Square. This all will be a past, present, and future. Could probably totally live <laughs> at the uh, time travel lake. <laughs> but we're not going to any of them today. You got that? We'll have a quick look around to town and then get you two back home safe. Hey, a Lucario! Whatever the situation... Aura will show the way. I wonder if that's Silas. But it's not... But, but this is the rescue team continent, but you never know. Maybe the rescue team and explorers continents are close together. My name is Shyman. My flowers bloom when I sense gratitude. This is Barum Town. Welcome! Oh, aren't you a couple of new faces? How cute you are. Although not as cute as me, of course. Ramming into each other is so much fun. You ready for it? Come on! I do not wish to partake in this violence. Hey, it's Lancelot, the bi icon. I'm the greatest Pokemon of all. I'm not sure why I feel that way, but the idea plumps up my ego. Hey, Gulpin. There's a good wind blowing today, but it seems a bit different from the usual wind somehow. I honestly forget what I gave Gulpin's voice. I don't know. It's all going over my head. It sure is nice to have friends, isn't it? I have one too, a best friend. Is it an is it a uh what's the word? I'm trying to think of the word, but it's eluding me. <laughs> is it a an imaginary friend? We'll go up after this. Uh, I just can't believe it. I know, right? It's pretty scary. Let me guess, somebody else turned to stone? Well, first things first, we're gonna, we gotta check out this. Is it another cafe connection? With the wind pushing back against me, I sometimes can even manage to walk straight. It's a curious feeling, kind of refreshing. We'll make one circuit of the town and then we're heading back. I can shoot beams from my eyes. Cool, huh? No, I don't wanna talk to you, I wanna talk to Chinchino. Then again, I guess a bunch of Pokemon traveling everywhere. Could be anything. Neon handed over the letter from Rampardos. What? A letter from Rampardos? Thank you, let me see. It's kind of dull, but I'm very happy. <laughs> it kind of it kinda explains why, since it needs to be a port town for Lapras to get there. That's true. from Twitch chat. God, I love this song so much. It does sound pretty, pretty nice. Neat. Looks like you've earned a reward. Pick it up from right here. Those dungeons don't scare me. Come on. 
flowers are blooming all over. I shoot out cotton, but I'm surprised, so please don't startle me, okay? My mind is empty. I think I can tell. Just sleeping here in the cafe? That seems illegal. I'm A, the ace of my kind! So you're an alpha gamer? Oh boy! Another... Protein! Do come again. Thank you, Mama Kangaskhan. Or I guess kind of like... <laughs> I guess, does this game make, uh... Like, the Kangaskhans into, like, a sort of Nurse Joy, in a way? Where there's a bunch of Mama Kangaskhans. All very similar. Now, where's that there protein? I'm gonna become the strongest Riolu in the world. I'm gonna have muscles for days. Oh, hey! It's you, Wishcash, I believe? I forget what voice I gave you back all the frickin' way in Rescue Team. I lost it carelessly. I just happened. Uh, in Pee Wee Meadow. You lost something on the water continent? How could you do that, Wish Cash? Here comes my pollen like an explosion. An assault right here in the city? Onward! Here on the air continent, we live every day with the breeze blowing over us. My spores often go flying in the wind, thanks to our stiff breezes. Living in a town like this is great for Pokemon like me. Our spores can really fly. Brillum knows what I'm talking about. The mushroom monsters always scare me. <laughs> you know what? I want to check out and see if we can... Let's see if we can defy his wishes. Neon Gabriel! Don't you think we've seen enough to call it a day already? We should be heading back home. What? Already? We've barely seen anything. It'll start getting late if we don't turn back soon. We should set out now. Are you serious? That sounds terrifying. I know. I don't even want to think about it. Pokemon being turned into stone like that. Pokemon are being turned into stone? Excuse me. Sorry, but could you explain what you all are talking about here? Oh, about Pokemon being turned to stone? I wonder if this Manetric is from the tribe from Explorers. I think that'd be neat. It just keeps on happening around here. Pokemon showing up rock solid stone. They're, be they're being turned to stone? Like it's not that they became stone, but they've turned into stone. Because that would mean that someone is turning them into stone, right? That's what it seems like. Not that anyone has any idea who would do such a thing, or how. I guess everyone forgot itemizer orbs. They used to exist. <laughs> that Abra has no thoughts and is sleeping tightly. <laughs> Technically, they already did with Kecleon, where one species is known for a single profession. Well, that's true. It's just, it's so unanimous throughout all the games. It just, I forgot. <laughs> Although his purple Kecleon brother has disappeared eternally. Rumor has it that it's the work of that, of the flaming phantom. The flaming phantom? Of course it has to be a ghost. I doubt it's really a phantom or anything. Maybe it's probably just a Pokemon like us, but... But some say that they've seen him near the Pokemon that were turned to stone. And they say his body is wreathed in flame. So rumor has it he may be turning Pokemon until there's nothing left but Ash. The, po the legendary Pokemon trainer Ash? They're all becoming copies of him? And that's got everyone all spooked in calling him the Flaming Phantom. There are other rumors, though, about Pokemon being turned into stone. All kinds of Pokemon have been falling prey up till now, but they say recently it's legendary and mythical Pokemon that are being targeted. So I've heard, anyway. Somebody has saying they saw the Flaming Phantom near the mystical forest. Time Travel Lake is in the middle of that forest. 
and the mythical Pokemon, Celebi. That's why everyone's all in a lather all over the rumors, and wondering if it might have come for Celebi next. Why don't they, like, actually go and talk to the legendaries and mythicals and be like, Hey, remember that, like, uh, Time Gear fiasco of the Lake Trio? Uh, why don't you come and stay in town for a while? But the mystical forest is frightening. Nobody wants to go investigate if it's true. Ah, great. Whoa, what was that? Oh, Latios and Latias are fucking dead. Something crashed down there! There's a huge cloud of dust, and it's coming from the mystical forest! A mystical forest? Everyone, please calm yourselves. My name is Archon, and I'm a member of the Expedition Society. The Expedition Society? The one on the water continent? We Society members will go and investigate what is happening here. We ask that you all stay calm and remain here. We will... We will... We will... You better not be thinking of counting us out. Oh, of course we're going. No, you're not! It's too dangerous for a pair of green kids! Didn't you hear what they said about the flaming phantom in Mystical Forest? I can't let the pair of you face that kind of danger, not on your first day. And besides, you'd probably just end up getting in my way. Yeah, but think of all the things you won't be able to do if you're alone out there. You can't do this on your own, and we won't hold you back. You have to let us help, please! Uh, I really don't have much choice. Fine. Archon of the Ox Expedition Society, we'll leave this up to you for now. You'll want to make for the mystical forest from the toad. From the toad there? From the road there. We appreciate your help. Just doing our job. Come on, kids. We're going to the mystical forest. Once we're in the dungeon, Neon will take point for the group. I'll watch our ear. Let's do it. If there's anything to be found in the mystical forest, we'll find it. And Pokemon have uh, reshuffled, so we have to go talk to them. Be calm and relax. Oh, no. oh but I want to talk to the one down there. The one down there. I have been robbed. I have really good eyes. Respect my eyes. Weird thing to say. My, that was a surprise. I think something came flying this way. Or maybe failed at flying would be more like it. I don't really know, but I saw something. Something did come crashing out of the sky, didn't it? Everyone was reacting to something, but it went right over my head. What happened? So you three are in the Expedition Society. Seems we were unlucky. Seems we were in luck today. Check out this mess for us, would you? I heard a huge crash. What could it have been? Ah, huh. Vaporeon is here today. Everyone just moved around a bit. The Shaman has a short-term memory loss. Let's go to the Mystical Forest and find the stoned bodies of Latios and Latias. It became sunny. Fire-type moves will be more powerful, while water-type moves will be less powerful. During the uh, this weather, Pokemon won't be frozen. I gotta get to those Emeras. Big ears. Well, I guess I might as well put it on for now. I'll get away from Dolphin. And now I shall annihilate you. At least now I'll know where enemies are coming, and I'll put this toughness on as well. Ooh, this music's good! It 
That's a bop. Yeah, you keep doing that. This music is so nice. Yeah, the, the music's super nice. I like it. Come closer, Cherim. Face your end. On this. Well, we'll go fight the other one down here since it has a guard boost. How dare you make me hungry? That won't save you. Definitely set it to me, since I'm the one taking most of the damage. And get the stats all worked out. At least this way, if the big ears, I'll be able to avoid enemies if I don't want to fight them. Or at the very least, they won't catch me off guard. Like I have my eye on you. Oh yeah, but I guess the story has finally caught up to us. Because two legendaries literally got smited right in front of us. And we didn't even get to meet them before they got doth smited. And we're playing just this happy music. We're gonna annihilate you. <laughs> I know you have an Imra's addiction, but please, you can't use Imra's if you're dead. Maybe. Well, I guess I need to kill you quick so that my allies grab him. How dare you make me miss. You're a gulp and you're supposed to be slow. It's mostly when they're in the very, very far-off rooms. Because they already... Like, I know that the game already sometimes puts... Like, Imras that you physically can't get to. In rooms that you spawn in. Or at least ones that are so precise. You, <laughs> If you make one wrong move, it's impossible to get to the Imras. I'll let you guys beat up this guy. Kill that gulpin. Hello, Executor. I nom on you. Get obliterated. There's so many gulpin in here. Like, I get it. This is the rescuer <laughs> place. Uh, sleep payback. Definitely want that, because I'd get beat up a bunch by these guys. Like, this section of the song is just so, like, cutesy and fun. It's, like, just very interesting. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, it definitely feels like the rescuers... <laughs> The Rescuer's Continent, this definitely feels like... I'll just use that. I don't want enemies flying all over the place. And all because Arkin, uh, Archon was both a cheapskate and hasty with his purchases. You've, you've gotten involved in the plot. Nah. That is a funny way to look at it. I can't believe that Arkin is the most important character in the game so far. Aside from, like, maybe Nuzleaf? But even then, he only really kind of, sort of, adopted us. Which I know, <laughs> kind of, sort of. 
from Twitch chat. The song is so cool, and in the first half sounds determined to save the day, though, uh, for a bad situation. But then it builds into the inevitable exciting sightseeing explorers do when in a new location. That's a nice... That's looking like one way to look at it. It's definitely nice. Come face your fears and die, you stupid plant. Kill the plant. You are a plant. Why are you so quick to dodge everything? Of course you would. I will come down here to kill you. Because how dare you exist in my world. Ah, it's shop time. Get sleep payback, idiot. Time for you to die. You were asleep. You should have zero speed. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Protein. Drink. To be fair, a lot of story happened, so I forgot. To a I wasn't going to leave, but sure, I'll pay. Die. All these enemies are coming here to shop. That's my apple now. What's this one? A person looplet? Mm. I guess this healing looplet, I don't, it's not, I'm never going to use a looplet like that. And then we'll come kill you for being in my existence. Again, the, these just here, always just, <laughs> Make me think something terrible has happened. The Emera dust is just unnerving in its existence. I'm gonna get as hungry as I can, Jesus Christ. Mostly because... Then I can uh, use my Big Apple for maximum effectiveness. You can also sell the fresh apples to him. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Just completely slipped my mind. Yeah, sure, give me Orenberry. I have lots of them. Increasing my health, too. And of course, like, on my way to get it, it's shattered, how dare. Do not set off the bomb. We are here to kill you! Oh, the music's just so good. Yeah, fall asleep, idiot. Why, why'd you go that way? Arch Archon just having a, a fit. We definitely need to manage our elixirs. Give you a power boost. And give me a power boost, too. The 
moment we hit one. Well, I guess more like zero. Oh, I thought I had a big apple. I'm a fool. I'm supposed to put the big apple away. It's all Archon's fault. He threw off our day. Our timetable is just ruined because of him. Oh, neat. I forgot they did that. Nice of them to program that into this game. I see. Toughness. I'll give it to the boy just in case. Darn you. All of the Emiras are s just always ticking down to death. <laughs> well, we got a power boost Y for the boy. So true annihilation can happen. Sleep guard. Nah, nothing really seems to be doing it, so we'll just use. You fool. We're just going to leave this level, so your poison will do nothing. Punch. Punch. You literally put your roots down. How are you... <laughs> like, growing in power... Like, how are you faster than me? When you literally made yourself... S technically should have made yourself slower by putting your roots in. We'll quickly check out... Potential near rooms. Because we're poisoned and we can't go too far. How would biting like a Grimer even work? Get him a dust. Just in case. And, yeah, we should probably leave, because it seems like an army is after us. Yeah. Uh, status mirror. Mm, do I care about status mirror? Oh, we have a slot for it, so why not? We'll swap this one for you. You want to come fight us? Prepare to die. Get flinched, idiot. Maybe we should give a an elixir to Arkin. Well, no, because what is Arkin even doing? He's just kind of positioning weirdly. Another guard boost. I do believe. Honestly, get rid of that. You bastard. Ooh, type bulldozer. That'll definitely come in handy. Of which I think. Honestly. Yeah. Toughness. Type bulldozer is just going to be a little bit more helpful to me, where I can use my best abilities whichever which way I want. We must kill you. Synthesize all you want, you're still gonna die. Oh hey, an Orenberry.
and a Barrage Guard. Don't really think I care for Barrage Guard, because nothing has really been using Barrage, like, attacks at us. It's a very situational thing where you need to know the dungeon that you're going through to know if, dun like, Barrage Guard would be good for you. These are very winding, small dungeons, it seems. You are a jerk. Force palm. Force palm again. Through the power of force palm, I kill everyone. It would be hilarious if, like, my allies, one by one, accidentally got themselves poisoned by tanking a... ...a sludge attack on my behalf. One downside to having the big ears, Emera, is seeing all the enemies around me makes me a little bit paranoid. Why are you fast? You're a fucking cherim. Paralyzed Chirim at that. Just going, nah, I'd win. Oh, hey, more sparklies. <laughs> Another tiny reviver seed. I think the game is telling me something. And that is, I am going to die. A paralysis guard, nah, I'll just use. Let's see if I can get to this one. Dizzying stare. Hmm. Do we care to replace something? Because hmm, big ears would be nice to know when, like, a swarm of enemies are coming for me. So I guess one of the guard boosts. Almost didn't make that one because of me, but we'll just use you. Another paralysis guard. But yeah, having big ears to in a difficult dungeon is a nice little boon because it allows me to know when a giant swarm of enemies is coming my way. Because normally, being able to know, like, 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 oh, seeing where enemies are isn't all that important, but, like, knowing when a swarm randomly is coming your way is actually kind of handy. Uh, type bulldozer. Uh... I doubt this will make much difference, but we'll give it to you just in case. Again, this music is just so good. It's just so very nice. Well, that's just mean. There's just so much Emera dust that it's, again, kind of concerning. Clairvoyance? I, hmm. I prefer that over big ears. That will allow me to clear more efficiently. So I'll see where, like, items that I want are. And be able to head to them, like, immediately. Go ahead and use a max elixir. Force bomb. Get confused. And annihilated. I even know these items are probably not the best. 
Then again, it was a single apple. And a single apple is worth it. Would you like to go on? Yes, I would. Uh, super critical we'll give to you. Die. And we also definitely want to give another elixir to the boy. This section is just so nice for the song. Even if it leads into a kind of ominous section. False palm! We'll come this way to grab this Emera Dust. Since we already have one, I'll replace hmm. Sleepy Vet. I wonder why it seems like I'm getting more Emera dust than Emeras. Aha! Level up time! It just feels ominous to find that kind of stuff just hanging about. Your vine whip did nothing to me, you fool. And another guard boost will give to you. I wonder if I could just stack up enough guard boosts that I just become Im immortal. Why do you live in this mystery dungeon? Because I have a looplet with ten god boosts. I will never die. Oh, music's gone. Story time. Seems to me we've come pretty far. Hmm, I see something over there. You're right. Let's go check it out. It's the horror of the Latios and Latias. Like, normally, I thought, like, oh, this will be something far later, like with Deoxys and the Waylord and Rayquaza and the ominous voice saying discontent is rising. Nah, it just immediately happened. Over there! Oh, that's... Uh, that's kind of dark. Isn't this... the Pokemon that was flying through the sky earlier? It crash-landed here? Archon, this is a real Pokemon, isn't it? But it's gone all stiff as if... No way! It's just like they said! It's been turned to stone? Yes, it definitely looks that way. I don't recognize this Pokemon, though. His name is Latios. He is a legendary Pokemon. What? A legendary Pokemon? So the f so tech our first meeting with a legendary was a uh, illusion. Our second is with a genius layabout, and our third is with a petrified one. Huh. That's right. Is the first time I've ever seen it myself, though. Aren't there two Pokemon flying through the sky when we saw them earlier? We'll go look around for the other one. Yeah, you do that. Even Latios has been turned to stone. What does this all mean? Latios doesn't live anywhere near here. So what was he doing so far from home? Was he running from something? How would you know he l doesn't live here? Last I knew, Latios and Latias lived on those islands off the... Well, actually, yeah. Like I Now I kind of want to compare the map from Rescue Team to the map from this game. If he was trying to run away, he didn't make it, and was turned to stone. Who, though? 
Who could do this? Ah, I'm never going to figure this out alone. If uh, Dijanae was were here, I could have her send my questions back to everyone else, but... It never crossed my mind that I'd run into another of these cases here of all the places. Another of these cases, you say? I know the Chief wanted me to try to find out more about these incidents, but... <sighs> Wait a second! What did I just do?! I sent the two of them off alone! Those kids won't be able to handle whatever did this to Latios! He could have always moved uh, then. Time has passed, that's true. Neon, look at that! Man, it must really suck for Latios. Or, like, Latias. You fall into, like, a, a ravine of doom that will never let you out. And then you get turned to stone a few years later. This one has been turned to stone, too. Archon said that the other Pokemon was called Latios, right? This Pokemon looks a lot like it. Maybe they're related or something? Oh, great. Impudent fools. What have you come here for? Uh, who's there? Oh. Entei! Why would they call you, like, the Flame Phantom? He came from inside the fire? No, wait. Is this the Flaming Phantom? I asked what you have come here for. What for? J just to check. Check what? Whether your turning Pokemon to stone was a success? You know, this does fit the legendary, like all the legendaries. They, they're they very quick to jump to conclusions. Are you the ones who did this? Whoa, what are you getting mad at us for? I am Entei the Volcanic, and I shall be your end. What? Prepare yourselves for judgment. Neon, looks like we've got to fight. Stop! Archon? Neon, Gabriel, stand down! This is not an opponent you can beat. Who are you? The name's Archon. Archon of the Expedition Society. What? The Expedition Society? Archon the Flightless. Yes, I've heard of you. And those two behind you are also. I will leave this place. If Celebi is not here, then my presence serves no purpose. Wait, wait, Intei! The legendaries are useless, I see. They just do not help anything. You escaped with your lives today. But if you stand in my way, I will not be so merciful. You shall not trouble me again. Be sure of that. He's gone. Why are all the legendaries so useless? Are you alright, Archon? Yes, no worries here. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. Facing Intei, I was in a cold sweat of fear, but I couldn't show it. Pathetic, huh? No way, you were so cool. Thank you for saving us. And then Gabriel ate the body. And so we finished our first expedition across the sea. We went back to Barham Town and told everyone what had happened in the forest. Then we got a ride back to Expedition Society HQ from Lapras. By the time we got home, it was night and we were all exhausted. We didn't even have enough energy to eat. We went straight to our beds and... Oh, wait, no, we didn't. Of course we wouldn't skip dinner. <laughs> That's funny. But what about telling everybody what happened? <laughs> well, he's being proactive at least, just jumping to conclusions. That's also true. Most of the other legendaries are, I'm going to stand here, and then if you enter my place, I'm going to murder you. We were starving after our dinner. We all ate our fill tonight, for sure. After our dinner, after our adventure. A book? Where'd this book come from? Is it our diary? And then we fell right into our beds. There were a lot of mysteries that we still didn't understand then. Like why Pokemon were being turned into stone, or... What Entei had been after. <laughs> Is this kind of like, uh... The in-universe, like, uh... Story of, like, Bilbo wrote... In The Hobbit, there and back again? Is this like, uh... 
autobiography one of us is writing. Presumably Gabriel, since it's closer to his bed. Like why Pokemon were being turned to stone, or what Inti had been after. But we had no strength left to wonder. <laughs> oh, but there's one last thing I have to say. Archon was really, really cool today. We were able to count on him completely. All the Pokemon in the Expedition Society are silly, and they're fun to be around. But that doesn't mean they aren't strong. I was really reminded of that today. Being a part of the Expedition Society keeps getting more and more exciting. I can't wait to see what tomorrow will bring. So good night for now. Interesting. Just random. He has a diary. Oh no, what's going to happen in the middle of the night? Oh, he gets. he'll give his report while letting us dream. And that's how it ended. I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Maybe I could have called out to Entei and told him to stay. But the truth is that I felt relieved when he dashed off. I just couldn't stand up to the pressure he exuded. How many could have? Don't feel bad, Archon. This is Entei we're talking about. Anyone would feel petrified in the presence of a Pokemon like that. You know, as he stands next to Jirachi, the wish maker. Why, if I ran into him, ooh, just thinking about it. Just thinking about it. Chief, er, Chief? What's the matter, Chief? I'd, I'd, you'd, I'd do anything for a little more to eat. Huh. <laughs> well, there he went. And just as I was hoping to talk about what we should do next. It's not like it's anything new from him. Just let Amphros decide what he wants to do next. And we'll focus on our regular work. I think that's a good enough plan. All right, I can do that. I'll continue observing the stars then. And now Swirlix will grow, uh, wake up and be like, Chief, what did you do? I'm going to kill you. Whew, that hit the spot. When I get scared, I can't help feeling hungry. Inte, huh? This is becoming a real pain. It's about time for a midnight snack. <laughs> huh? Is someone there? Oh! My sacred food stash from holding all the leftovers of everyone's meals. You! Ah, salutations, my good Swirlix. These perfect apples are really very good. Mm, uh, well, that's the case. The Ninte? Yes, I think I find never clue. This is not to be overlooked. Oh. Ah, stop! You're eating them all! Yes, if it were, in fact, in ten. Oh. Stop! Put it up before that is tasty! Yes, even if we have to take them on ourselves. Oh. Take that, Swirlix. Know what it's like to be eaten out of house and home. You cotton candy fool. Where'd your diary go? Is it magic? Give it your all out there, team. Yes, sir. They're all such lovable idiots. Indeed. The real question is, where the hell did the secret stash come from? So how is the air continent? Did they have any tasty specialties? We didn't exactly have much time to go about and do things. But tomfoolery indeed. I hear you ran into the volcanic Inte. How fascinating. I wonder what he must be like. Good luck today. Good work yesterday. I'm sure you'll impress us all again today. Ba -ba -da -ba. Hey, you two. If you went to the mystical forest, did you happen to meet Celebi? Unfortunately, no, and Entei couldn't find them either. No idea why Entei is like, yes, these two obviously children, according to everybody else in the universe, are totally behind the stonification of these legendary Pokemon. We'll have tons of yummy food. We're going to have a party at Fampy's house later. Good for you. I've wrapped up my shopping, so it's about time to go home. The wife always lets me hear it if I'm home too late. I'd better hurry back. One thing that I've noticed is that this game has, like, 
far fewer golden bar opportunities. Oh, bypasses? All right, we're, we'll make note of that. Interesting. Murder God. A detect looplet? Hmm. If only there was more to it. If only there was more. Well, I want to look at these passes. Why is the sand pass so... Ex I can't even, like... Hmm. I can go to the grass continent, it seems. <laughs> You're in an RPG. Children can do wilder shit. <laughs> well, I am... I'm not sure. I think I'll go ahead and at least buy the grass pass. One grass pass? That'll be a hundred and... A hundred? One thousand and two hundred pokey. Sure. Might as well grab it. Firmly grasp it. So it's been delivered. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, did Chichiro say anything about me? What? She seemed pleased, but was uh, in a bit of a down mood. Never mind that. That's totally fine. As long as my feelings are delivered to her. Ah, oh, lovely Shinshiro. Hey, Squirt. You see Mr. Crooked Dial around anywhere? Nope. He's been stoned, hasn't he? Yeah, it's another fine day for exploring expeditions. Didn't mean to talk to you. Sorry. Uh, same thing. We haven't done yours yet. Mental gymnastics all the way. That's what I believe. I generate electricity with my frills. I can feel power surging. Overwhelming. Muscle! Muscle! Sitting here with a nice cup of tea really helps me relax. We live in the forests and move as slow as the forests. Up, up, up. And of course, check our connection orb for any new, uh, all right, a bunch of new ones, probably because we went across the continents now. Jesus Christ! Well, it's not like we can do you yet. Most assume my secret base is an igloo, maybe so. Forest of the Fairies, why do I feel like you'd kill me? Turn me into a snow cone. He's not even selling them. Hey, Wobbuffet, you're not supposed to speak. You're supposed to say, that's right! So we'll jot all of them down. Hey, it's Doug Trio! Being careless, we lost something precious. Now on the water continent on Serpentine Mountain Trail. I think we have multiple on Mountain Trail, the Mountain Trail now. Hey, Laudred! Where in the world did Bidoof go? Grass Continent, Sunny Spot Hill, it's a twofer. Gotta go all the way around. To get to this here one. Seal's been, oh Jesus Christ, Cape of Wonders. That's a name that pokes at my brain. We'll accept, but we won't do just yet. That's insane. A five star? No. Do -do 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 -do. There are Wonder Mail codes for something like 30 fresh apples you can sell to buy the travel passes. Eh, I don't feel like doing it like that personally. So let me quickly see. Well, first things first, let me see how much money I have in here. I don't have much to buy so far. I might as well Let's see. You know what? I have enough money for all the passes. I'm just going to get them out of the way. I'm just going to get them out of the way so I don't have to worry about them in the future. You'd want to uh, at least go to the grass continent town to get things registered. Hmm. And see, that is why 
I became an apple tycoon. Let's see, do I, how many diddly Ds do I have to exchange? I have six. If you're able to, uh, <laughs> able to math, one neat thing you might realize is there's four passes, and including the water continent, that makes five continents, and there's only four games. Hmm. Huh. I didn't think about that. Interesting. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Maybe they were planning on setting the fifth game on that extra continent, and then just never got around to it. I'm kind of tempted to power up myself. Hmm. I'll at least get one protein and then one calcium for the boy. Now let's manage my inventory. Wait, I forgot to also check and see what you sell normally, I think. Or did I? And then I just was nothing. I think we bought one thing. Everything's rumbling together. Let's quickly check my expedition list. Because we can fight Mankey on the Serpentine Mountain Trail. Which then would go on to Finders Keepers for Wish Cash. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Finders Keepers for Doug Trio. So, yeah, it looks like we're heading to the Serpentine Mountain Trail. I'm going to bring a few extra... Blast seeds with me. Wrong one. Ba -ba, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And before we set off, we shall save. Wrong thing. Save. And the reason I say at least visit the continents is to register the connection orb. That's also true. Because let's check the world map. Ah, so we've yet to go there. So. I guess we'll go and at least <laughs> open up the world. Ah, neat. Welcome to the Lapras Travel Airliner. Where would you like to go? To the Grass Continent. Capim Town. Grass Continent, then let's be off. To clear away the clouds. Well, we've arrived at Capim Town on the Grass Continent. A lot of jobs to take here. I met a champ of Team Charm, the alluring treasure hunters. And in my head canon, ex-Team Meanies member. Where you see honey, you see Heracross. Hey, where is my honey? The connection orb does not show any connections you might make from talking to people in towns. And these other towns will have... A few for you each day for a few days. Hmm. So maybe I should just go to every, like, island or, like, continent that we've done. Oh, this is Explorer's Town. I guess that makes sense. I'm Skunk Tank, the leader of Team Skull. <laughs> it's been a bit since we've run into him. Fun, fun, fun talk, fun talk. <laughs> 
Now this is the Explorer's Continent. Makes sense. Since we've ran into both Medicham and Sk Skunk Tank. Ba, 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 ba. The music is nice. One thing I would have preferred, though, is like remixes of uh, like the other town themes. I may seem rough, but I know someone real rough. I guess we'll accept. Defeat Pyroar. Hey, Absol was there. Now I almost want to do that one to unlock Absol. My precious thing is gone. Oh, apparently Sunny Spot Hill is going to be the place of all places. Treasure Town was one of the few that would have made uh, sense to visit given it's a seaside town, but Capham Town is pleasant. Meh. I feed off negative feelings. I need lots of those, actually. The Litwick back in Serene Village, feeling like idiots. I'm from a warmer area. They often tell me I'm big-hearted. Welcome to the Kekleon shop. What do you have to sell? I guess we'll buy a big apple just because we can. I'll be shady, I'll be wild. That's my style. Taking good care of my tail is how I live so long. One quick draw of a scimitar is all I need to defeat any foe. I'm completely red from sunbathing. I'm G, I am. G for Grandpa. So what you say? Look at my leafy clothes. I'm so happy. Ah, so waddle. And now we can take this individual into dangerous dungeons. My mom made this sleepy outfit for me. Don't you just love it? Didn't I see your mom? Like, on a completely different continent? Why are you here? I'm Scyther! Team Razor Wind! My shop sides pave the way! I'm second to none when it comes to the jungle. He may not look it, but he's real tough. And there's another Cape of Wonders. Apparently, that's going to be a nightmare place. Recently, I don't know what to do. Send this letter to shop it. In Sahara Town. Why is it called a secret job? I smell something yummy over that way. So that's what Swirlix is going to become. I scatter my scales as usual here. Do you want a taste of my fiery knee kick? You are threatening a child. Who's describing me as prickly again? I'm craggy, not prickly. Got it? I emit sound waves. My nose is heart-shaped, too. Whispers of love. I'm more playful than Panchim. Uh, another one? The tougher the foe, the bigger my flames. Zingus is my rival. The next time I see him, I'll... What should I do? Give him a big smooch. He'll never see it coming. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and visit all of the other continents that we've unlocked just to do this little dance of things. Because we've already went to Barum. Let's go to the Mist Continent. <laughs> Where did Gabriel go? Video game pathing. Also, I find it hilarious that Archon was just like, oh, we have to get you home right now. 
the next day, Gabriel and I'm like, we're gonna sail all over the world in a single day! Nobody knows. <laughs> Now you can visit the Mist Continent. I wonder what that cloud up uh, above our continent means. Oh no. Welcome to Noe Town on the Mist Continent. Seems developed. Ooh. Seems industrial. But the music is nice. Play with me! Grr! I may not look it, but I'm very timid. Giga. Is it because you have trauma from trying to kill a bunch of people? Uh, as part of a cult. Mists would be the Gates continent, so I was kind of right. <laughs> they call me Gilbrand. It means shield and sword. This is nice music. Oh, hey, maybe this is what Snivy Neon became in the future. Whatever you do, don't drag me down, okay? Go, go, go it! That's my motto. Who's next? Whoever it is, I'll make you slimy. Weird. I'm M. You want a joke? Um. Hey, is it you? I'm not edible. I'm simply not meant to be eaten. Do you understand? I can throw tons of punches in a matter of seconds. Take that! And the Vaporeon went from one continent to another, too. I'm burning hot to the touch. My name is Sandslash. My moves can cut you in a flash. I belong to Team Razorwind. Uh, why is there like a go down arrow? I guess it's for Halucha? But it feels weird. But in a way, this kind of like doesn't f like give off Gates's vibe, but at the same time, it's pretty cool. Please send this letter to a friend. To Slowpoke. <laughs> in the air continent. Hey, Gardevoir. I'm Gardevoir of Team Charm, the alluring treasure hunters. I'll watch everyone's moves to maximize our chance of winning. Thank you for having me. Do you want to fight? Let's go to this dungeon to fight. That's kind of fair. And the Sand is, I think, a new continent, unless it's the WiiWare Games place, but I don't think so. Does that place even have enough lore to have a reference made for it? <laughs> I don't believe the Sand Continent is a reference to the WiiWare games. I think from what I recall, there is, however, a grand total of one reference to them amidst the 700 plus Pokemon. <laughs> and <laughs> that's interesting. It's talk time! from Twitch chat, might be the best town song if we judge them as standalone songs in all of PMD. Wow, I let out everything, didn't I? Thanks for listening! It is a very pleasant song. My strength is in my three horns. Hurt my friends and you'll face my horns. What? Can I see through the untidy fur on my forehead? Sure I can. Leave me alone. Someone go fetch my precious. Oh no, it's Golem. Someone go fetch my precious. I throw rocks covered with bubbles. Don't call me a coward. Hey, I'm a mysterious Pokemon. I may be made of clay. I may not be. But neat. I would not have guessed that this was the GTI continent from the vibes. 
Then again, I probably wouldn't have guessed the other continent either. Well, let's go to sand, just because we can. And we'll gather up, like, any missing letters and stuff. Look at the map. The map is nice. You can now visit the Sand Continent. You'd have to mostly recognize the maps, and you can compare them to the older games. That's true. Hello, Feebas. A friend of mine is in, is in need of a fr ah, A friend in need is a friend who only knows Splash. You want me to go save the boy Magikarp? Uh, from the Cape of Wonders, too. I'm Gallade, the leader of Team Raider. Appreciate your having me along. I'm crafty in how I bend the rules, so don't count on me too much. Here, have a letter. I see. Shit Ninja seems not sure of himself lately. Did you notice? I think Shit Ninja should be Shit Ninja. All or nothing sounds like the right attitude for him. I'll tell him the next time I see him. From Twitch chat, do you know what's in Zahara Town? I do not. We, ju we just got here. No idea what to expect either. And somehow they're connected to Lucario. That'd be kind of funny. Will you go on an adventure with me? Thanks, are you at all of my crooked smile? Meanwhile, we do not go on an adventure with him. Oh, hey! It's Chandler. I need to tell someone this scary story. There was this one time I was in a death cult that wanted to destroy the entire world. Thank you for your attention. Uh, it wasn't scary. You don't say. Ah! Wait, I just disassociate. How did you get the money for the passes? Gold bars? Nope. The best thing in all of Mystery Dungeon. The Apple Mafia. Selling pristine apples saved me up a lot of money over the course of the game. <laughs> Oh, and Chandler's introduction to, ah, oh, these guys. There's something special to find in Sahara Town, apparently. I have a letter from my uncle. We were just there, weren't we? My dojo went out of business. It crumbled to the ground with a marvelous whack. That's kind of sad. Because that's the guy that was like, please use my my dojo. I won't even charge. A knight without shining armor enters the hall. Is everything polished to perfection? No, I'm not horizontally challenged. I'm well built. You look like a weird child with too many sweaters. I generate electricity while I sunbathe. This is called photophilac... Uh, photovoltaic generation. I mess. My S-shaped body is what attracts others the most. Is it because they find you sexy? I can manipulate anything with my tail. I have no use for my hands. Is that bad? That's weird. My fiery beard tells you I'm aggressive. Let me burn you to a crisp. I think Mama Kangaskhan would kill you. Hi, kids. How are you? Say my name. Say Bishop. Ready? No. I have achieved perfect mastery of the martial arts. Would you like to see my moves? Welcome to the cafe. Get all the rewards. Almost missed this guy. They say I used to be a fossil. That sounds cool. How did you come back? If it's acknowledged that you were a fossil, how are you alive? Once in my mouth, anything delicious quickly drops into my belly. Well, that's disturbing. I had a plan. 
And then I just got sidetracked by <laughs> becoming a tourist. Now, let's see. Another calcium for the boy. The special attacks will go up. I can manipulate flames elegantly and mysteriously. Hey, look, Gabriel, it's you from the future. What the fuck? I guy, I would. He's like, oh, you don't have the room for it. I just want to look at it. If only I had the money, I would have bought that for the boy. But then again, we don't really run into diddly dees. But I have to know what is a fickle looplet and what does it do. I haven't been using these at all, so they just take up room. I'm not even gonna. Uh, I don't even have the money to buy it. I just want to know. It boosts critical hit rate if the holder uses a move it didn't use the turn before. Okay. I probably would have gotten that for the boy just for Emera storage, but still. I feel that a storm is coming. I've been traveling in search of an unsanitary environment. He didn't say Trump, Trump! I have been robbed! Let me talk about those Durant. Nice talking to you. I guess I like Durant after all. In many ways. Well, that's not ominous or anything. And now he's connected to the Durant. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, what? <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute. I don't remember. Why does this look weird? <laughs> oh, quite clever you to notice. That's right, I'm Hoopa. Hoopa of the gin's bottle. Summon me in a dungeon if you want to see something really good. You've got to put the gin's bottle in your bag and bring it along with you in a dungeon. But that's the only place I'll go with you. And once the adventure's over, I'll zip right back here to Sahara Town with my bottle. Shall I hop into your bag here? Personally, I'm fine either way. I don't have room. Huh. Never mind, I do have room. Huh? Where's the connected? Oh, I get it. it must be because I always come back here to my bottle. I'm special like that. Fine, then I guess I'll take care of this by myself. Now we're connected! Huh. Can I just put him back? <laughs> I can't get rid of him now. He is here forever. Huh. I was not expecting that. Sun showers make me beautiful. Adventure, I'm fired up. My tail is burning too. I'm from the ruins. Let me spin around. I want to lick something. <laughs> I do like that they give each town like a unique vibe. Congrats, Neon. You're connected. God, I have so many. I guess first things first. I should check my secret, like, ones. Let's see. Yeah, secret task. So I guess back to the Mist Continent we go. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. We can go everywhere except that middle one. Again, it's just hilarious that we went with Archer and he's like, now we have to immediately go home. The next day, we're going to go over the entire planet. Here, have letter. Sandshrew's doing fine, I see. That makes me want to work hard. Thanks for the letter. Soon I'll recruit everyone into my... entire everything. Yeah. 
Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. And then we can go and get the reward that we won't have room for. I will make room. Well, uh, no, I, I will have restraint. All right, let's quickly check over my expedition list. Serpentine, Serpentine. Because let's see. So yeah, we're gonna go to Serpentine. Because I think it's like the next best balance. Of which I do believe it should be on the water continent. I should have checked properly. So let's go home. <laughs> this probably took a few weeks. And they're like, oh god, the children are dead. This is why we should never have lifted the rule. Like, that would be a funny comic. If I was better at, like, drawing with speed. That's honestly what I would do. Is just, like, draw them going, Oh my god, we haven't, like, been notified by them in so long. They're dead. They have to be dead. And then they just roll back up with, like, a Hawaiian t-shirt. I believe you can go to any dungeon from any entrance rather than having to go to the Lapras Liner, but it has been years, so I might be misremembering. Hmm. Well, off we go. To the Serpentine Mountain Trail. Yeah. And we have an honorary fourth Pokemon in here. ba da ba 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 now, who do I want to bring along? Because we're going up against... Mankeys, I believe. But who do I want to bring with? You know what? Let's bring Routes along. The little fairy buddy. Apparently, from Twitch chat, that's not true. You have to use the specific dungeon entrances on the different continents. Same thing from YouTube chat. You need to go to the specific town through the liner. Although, when you clear every dungeon in the game, you can use the Nexus instead, I think. Huh. Interesting. It allows you to summon Hoopa only once while you're uh, on a floor in a dungeon. The summoned Hoopa will fight with you. Speak to it and it will summon its friends, but it sometimes fails, so be careful. If you lose the bottle, try to find it again. Huh. Well, first thing first, I empower myself. So I guess we'll summon him when we fight the Mankeys. No idea what it means by summoning his friends. I think that could mean summoning enemies. <laughs> oh, you can summon Hoopa once per floor. Not once per whole dungeon. Although that makes me wonder then why he's not just with us. Unless he has like a time limit. Like if he has a time limit, I guess it makes sense, but... Doesn't feel like it's uh, described as one. Get flinched, idiot. <laughs> His high jump kick made him fall. Well, I guess we might as well since we can... I doubt we have much to worry about. Let's summon him. Let's not have him use his rings yet. Nom. <laughs> I 
If you summon Hoopa, you will see why you might not want him all the time. Hmm. Is this Barrage? Ah, it's Status Mirror. Oh, well. No. He's just spamming that hyperspace hole. It's a warp trap. The Pokemon that steps on this trap will be warped away. If you get separated from a teammate, try switching that teammate's tactics to wait there. This will make it easier for you to regroup. Well. Of course, I find Hoopa first. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything in the immediate places. So let's move on ahead. <laughs> Are you a real British man, or do you like doing a fake British accent like an addict all the time? I'm not trying to do a British accent for the tips. I'm trying to do a kind of oak one. I'm Professor Oak. Well, I guess while we don't have many, we'll go ahead and do that. And yeah, let's go ahead and activate the Jin. Force bomb! Shit! Force bomb! Of course you one-shot me, you bitch. You're the... Motherfucker can steal looplets? That's busted. Hmm. Psybeam. I need to actually swap with my allies more. Yeah, give Ralts a Oren Berry. We have Oren Berries for days. And this guy's confused. Oh, we defeated the right one! Seems you and me, the mighty Menke, are pretty even! Let's have another battle! How about no? Now they will build us a house. Apparently, Mankey are Smeargle's only friend. No, I would not like to. Interesting, like, dungeon, though. <laughs> Into the bottle with you. <laughs> Why is Mankey Toad? I don't know. They're weird little guys. We never run into barrages. Oh, we actually got them all here. You are a scary thing. Now come out here and face us and die. Get paralyzed, idiot. <laughs> wand expert? Not useful to me. I never use wands. And we'll go ahead and set toughness because we can. It's a goal. I like this music. Effect boost will give it to the boy. Oh yeah, that Mankey ran away with the goddamn attack loop. Luckily it was for that guy and not one of us. Like, if that Mankey stole my fucking looplet and the game didn't allow me a chance to get it back, I would be pissed. Like, it's one thing to lose just a basic attack looplet. 
but if it took my special multi slot looplet that I have just for me, the main character, I would be very upset. I feel like that is a bit of a mean gameplay mechanic. What does that even mean? What do you mean gravity has gotten stronger? I guess, oh, I guess levitate doesn't work under that, but it's just like, it felt like nothing changed. It's almost, it's more like, oh, well that's mean. Of course you have like a multi-hit room thing, isn't that? I don't like things that have good range against me. Will you fucking stop? Why are you doing so much fucking damage, you cunt? I want to kill this guy. Please flinch. Like, I get it, it's a setup move, but still. Kind of mean game. All the enemies just coming to this goddamn room. And why are you suddenly speedy? You're a hunk of metal. Oh no, it's the evils of Chatot. The Pokemon is taunted and unable to use status moves. It can still use attack moves and items though. The status will go away after a while. Punch the bird. Quit being speedy and die. Why is this? <laughs> How? Why is that one a AOE attack? And it has like the AOE move thingy, but like ancient power on the blah blah blah. The unknown is like ah no, nah, that's not a AOE move, even if it has like an AOE diddly d around it. That's just silly. Oh, that's just mo that's just mean. Why do you know a big move, you asshole? And it's also once again. An AoE thing. Quit giving these guys AoE moves. Should be illegal. By the way, Hoopa does not summon a monster house on you if you talk to them. That implies that they have the ability to summon a monster house on me. But I guess, well, I guess it was more in line with my comment earlier of like, hmm, I wonder what that means. Of like, implications of things possible to go wrong. Why are all these confused assholes hitting their moves? Should be illegal. You are confused, act like it. Whenever I'm confused, I do not get the luxury. Do 
do do do do do do It's the pedo. It has run away from its homeland of New York City to terrorize people in caves. How about, I guess we've gotten to the point where we should eat an apple. All right, just getting tons of apples. Since we got all the passes except for like one, ish or maybe that's like a story continent that we won't have to worry about who knows but we got a, all the a bunch of passes that should hold us for a long time i wonder if i should worry about my money this is a very big dungeon feels like it. It's almost like a nighttime version of like a... I don't know. Kind of reminds me of one of the dungeons from GTI. The one where that had like a harpsichord chord plane and uh, was part of the story where Hydrogen joined the party temporarily. I literally found everything but the, the way out. Impressive. Come closer. So you can die. Come on. You're gonna explode, aren't you? Uh, I'm not I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna suffer that. You fucking followed me, too, you bastard. Oh, and I apparently ran out of reviver seeds. Asshole game. Hmm. I haven't had to change, like, uh, the tactics. No, I said follow me. Why are you going specifically not following me? Oh, because I was in a fucking tunnel. I'm very annoyed. Why is Drifloom such a fucking anno- or Drifblum? Annoying asshole in this game. And now my goddamn inventory is nothing but plane seeds. Maybe I should have grabbed a revive up all orb or something. I'm just gonna get out of here as fast as possible. Yes, game, I know what you're saying. Let me go. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with another drift one. Fuck that. Well, wow, luckily it's right here. So maybe I should keep a revive up all orb just in case of these bullshit situations where the game's just a giant asshole to me. So I can run away, revive, and have a better second chance. Yes.
<laughs> this is where wands come in handy quite well. That's true. It's just I haven't had much of a feeling towards the wands. But maybe I should use them more. Hey, everybody. Before you start eating, listen up. I was just talking with the chief, and I know this is kind of sudden, but the time has come for our big outing. We're cheering even though we don't know what it is. Oh, an outing, huh? Win! Win! We'll be departing two days from now. I do hope you'll be looking forward to it. Yay! Did you hear that, Neon? An outing! I can't wait! Very well then, everyone. Let's eat! I do find it funny that it's like a big grand table. We don't even know what this outing is. They're like, yeah, an outing. The next morning. Give it your all out there, team. And you know what? I just realized something. I just realized something kind of scary. Why did they specifically highlight Gabriel having a diary? Hmm. Game, there better not be a thing where, like, I don't know, near the end of the game, like, the big bad kidnaps Gabriel or something, and then we find his diary and read it and learn, like, he was depressed all this time or something. This world can be broadly divided into five different continents. Lively Town is on the so-called Water Continent. The place which you hail from, the Serene Village, is on the same continent. The water is clear and pure in many places on this continent, hence the name. <laughs> Amphros is just like, the outing is to the grass continent, where I'm sure you've never been before. <laughs> Our big society outing is coming up soon. Do your best out there. Good luck on your expeditions today. I'm hoping to observe the star cycles tonight, so I guess I better go to sleep now. That's one way to look at it. I'm trying to think up an ultimate move that'll end any battle. I've already got a name, at least. Get ready for Talos Terror. That feels more like a story name. I've got as good an ultimate move as anybody else. Watch as I sweep the floor with ya. It's like they're actually hitting me. My ultimate move goes like this. Fletch ding, fletch long, fetch loom, boom. It's a three-stage attack, see? Stand back and admire my ultimate move. Shiny Shinx blinks. I'm teaching lessons again today. Everyone is quite enthusiastic. But they've got to get the basics down. Thank you for finding our precious. Ah, you want to know what it is that's so precious to us? We can't tell you anything except that it's precious to us. Also, did I forget to actually use the, uh... Okay, good, I actually used the vitamins. Well, I guess first things first, I should probably sell all my... Like, first the apples. And then, my a million blast- I forgot the blast seeds. I keep forgetting the blast seeds are in my inventory. If I actually used those, things probably wouldn't have gone as bad. Got to sell. This will buy one revive all orb. Let's see. At least I got accrued a ton of reviver seeds. So I don't need to worry too much. <laughs> so, going for another world tour? Maybe. Hey, Crocodile's back. 
This whole world is rotten, Squirt. Who could be bothered to do real work? As they say right next to Quagsire. Munchlax is hungry. Do you have anything to eat? You are not going to eat me out of house and home. Welcome to Cafe Connection. Give me that iron. Through the power of iron, I'm gonna rule the world as everyone succumbs to iron deficiency. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, there's uh, another Pokemon we haven't talked to down here. Kiss, kiss, dog kiss. What do I need to do to get a kiss? That's a weird chant you have. Hey, Archon. Hey, friend. How are your jobs doing? I'm thinking about going across the sea again. After everything that happened, the horrors? Ah, the camera angle actually changed. Well, actually, first things first, I should check my... Like, first, my connection orb. Of which we only have one brand new connection. That we can make. Come on, game. Hey, Mr. Diglett, he's in trouble in a dungeon. In a small sand dune. <laughs> Take eye drop. I don't have an eye drop. Now, let's see. What one will I want to do now? Definitely not you. Definitely not you. Well, we need to go to the air continent to give a diddly D. Is there any other, like... Uh, there's a Finder's Keeper's 6th floor 3-star. So I guess we'll just do a quick circuit, talk to everybody. Then I think we'll come back and do the Pee Wee Meadow one. We'll see how many new people there are, what items we can find on the ground. I'll scare them away with magma! That seems like a deadly deterrent. Hey, we should all turn at right angles! Come on, let's go zigzag! I'm a fiery martial artist. I deliver fast and furious infernos. I may not look it, but I'm good at dancing. Hey, you don't believe me? I may be up for it today. I may not be. I'm not too sure of myself. Holler to my parents. Smell my flowers and keep cool. There are two Meganiums. I wonder if that's meant to be like... Maybe like the Chikorita player character from Rescue Team and the Chikorita from Explorers, maybe? They gotta cover all their bases. That'd be kind of funny. Hey, Swana! I may not look it, but I'm good at cooking. I used to run a place called Swana House. Why is it that everywhere we loved is closed now? Oh, if a Pokemon has gender difference, there's multiple. That makes sense. Wait, like, everywhere we've gone, it ju it's just like, hey, you know that thing you loved? It no longer exists. 
Next, you're gonna tell me Wigglytuff's guild closed down. Too many perfect apples. They couldn't keep up with the payments. Then again, the Kecleon specifically didn't carry perfect apples. Everybody graduated, and there was nobody left to go get perfect apples for Wigglytuff. So he's traveling the world again. Hey, team uh, from uh, Team Skull, maybe. He looks weird. <laughs> That's just a very contemplative face. I think I've stored up quite a lot of gas. Didn't mention... Ba ba ba. So maybe not from Team Skull. You never know. Gee, will you let an old Gramps talk about something? And now we have another chance for... Motivated Unknowns. Unknown G I am. G is for Grandpa. If we befriend enough unknowns, maybe we can just have them summon an Intei that will work with us. Oh, and introduction to all these other unknowns. Jesus. Oh yeah, that dance, Ludicolo dance, oh yeah! We found an apple! I like to imagine Unknown to be kind of like the binary encoding of the world. That'd be kind of neat. I find it funny that, like, not too long after the whole, like, you can't leave the village, you'll never make it on your own. <laughs> now we're traveling the world. <laughs> Somehow, Lapras knows how to <laughs> drive blind for days at a time. Either that or this is just a small world. Oh, hey, it's a nine tails. Don't curse me, bro. You must not touch my tails. <laughs> That's all he has to say. Touch my tails and I will kill you. I discharge electricity from my mane. You should watch it. This is a nice song. And plus, another reason to do the world tour is to grab all these items. They're just lying around. We're doing a public service. I trained my legs and lower back to prepare for battle. Yeah! Let's -a go. I'll have to read that secret one again to remember where, like, a uh, slow poke is meant to be. So we can quickly go find him. I probably passed him by and I'm blind. Let's talk about having good eyes! Well, you're a bird. Of course you have good eyes. <laughs> Frozen in the air. The ultimate ability of the Pidgeotto. That's right, sometimes I don't know where to look because my eyes are too good. Nice talking to you. And it spreads even further. <laughs> will befriend a different Buzel from the one that's in the 
Expedition Society. Ah, oh, different Raichu. My electricity storing pouches are making noise of static electricity. Neat. I'm widow but strong. Oh, we missed a person here. When others have a gloomy day, I'm happy. Well, that's not disturbing. Alright, secret task to the air continent. Also, this one Lapras must just be overworked from all the Pokemon they have to travel across the world every single day with how many are appearing on different continents. Slowpoke should be somewhere here. Did we go into the cafe here? No, we did not. Or like, we probably did, I probably just missed you. Huh? Letter from Dratini? I don't know what it says, but I'm happy. So, <laughs> poor guy, he's illiterate. <laughs> or maybe his eyes are so slow, he can't read. They only have each other. A silver spike and dragon tail. We got dragon claw, dragon tail. This would have been the perfect, like, Mystery Dungeon game playthrough for Locke. Well, let's go to the water continent and find stuff for Wish Cash. a very interesting mechanic to be able to visit other continents like I think it would have hit harder if they were more like like again if they used treasure town for explorers and stuff like that gonna head to Pee Wee Meadow Let's go, Victini. Give me back my weather looplet. And the third one usually doesn't matter, so let's go! And you, at one point, you uh, mused at Lapras being a post-game thing. Did I? My memory is bad. Fight me. Fight me. I just say random things, and sometimes they come true. I forgot to put away things. I'm a fool. I need to get my eye in it. So I don't die as hard. And then, of course, protein. For perfect for a Riolu like me. Jesus Christ, what happened here? An Emerald Massacre? Well, I guess we might as well use it. So I know when enemies are around the corner. And a barrage, hell yeah. Da 
ba 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 You dare screech at me? Die. How dare you be fast for a little guy? You must soon meet your maker. Through the power of barrage, die. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. One thing it feels like is, like, uh, the moves level up more slowly compared to... GTI. Could be wrong about that. I just get a feeling. Just feels like moves leveled up a bit. You bastard. A bit quicker. Wait. More Emra dust somehow I missed. It's just a vibe that I get. Boy, they're both charging. And Intimidator, perfect for me. There's just a conga line of enemies up here. We'll sneak by them. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. I guess that wouldn't be bad to have. Sometimes enemies have odd, like, speeds. I almost missed this seed, and I won it. A uh, tiny reviver seed. We'll definitely swap for this. <laughs> By the way, OMG, Gabby's little legs have to put in so much work to keep up with bipedal Riolu when you run in the overworld. It's adorable. <laughs> Let's see. I don't really care because I have a lot of elixirs and stuff, so... Also, another thing is that, like, it feels like, uh, after they rebalanced the gold shop, they've made it so that it's a lot harder to find gold. Yeah, you fool. Get intimidated. And a level up for Gabriel. Die, coughing. You don't belong in this world. My real question is, like, where did the wands come from? Then again, where does anything new? Oh, hey, a traveling Pokemon is on this floor. Perfect. Ah, uh, not you, you ugly bastard. Of course, you're a poison contact, motherfucker. Bubble all you want, you're still gonna die. And on the floor that has a traveling Pokemon as well. well at least we got to you. Status immunity. Activate Poseidon. No, you don't. Of course you don't. Profound sad news. And I don't have a random Pekka Berry, do I? Traveling Pokemon, there you are. Heal me. Heal me. If possible.
I uh, don't. <laughs> you do everything but heal status effects, don't you? I'm short tempered. Even for little things, I can't help spitting fire from my beak. Sorry if you get hurt. At least you didn't try to kill me. Although I just realized, in a way, I wonder if this might. Like, be a. Like a variation of like recruiting enemies that you beat in a dungeon. Like, in a way, it recontextualizes oh, you didn't actually fight them. You just found them and they were just a friendly, friendly person wandering through a mystery dungeon. Or maybe they were like, oh, we thought you were an enemy Pokemon, but you're actually good. So we'll join your team. Berry power! Die! Get barraged and die. I'm already poisoned. I don't fear you. Yeah, get confused, idiot. Fairy power. You fool. That's right, come fight me. Get pounced. Ba 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 da. Ba ba da. Again, still the Emerald Dust Trails just. They scare me ever so slightly every time I see them, and I don't know why. They're just ominous. Punch! <laughs> get paralyzed. <laughs> the first punch, it hits you. You're paralyzed. The second punch, it kills you. Take this looplet. Take this, Scrafty. Or Scraggy, whatever. I haven't really been using the Emera Up Orbs all that much. More Emerald dust. A poor defenseless Emerald was murdered here. Yum. Slap. And then slap two. The sensation that's sweeping the nation that was so good it got a sequel. Slap 2!
Through the power of the connection orb, we saved the day. Oh, and through his introduction. Ah, oh, we meet Team ACT. That's cool. Yeah, sure, let's exit. <laughs> Ever since, like, that one, like, traveling leafy on or something, we haven't had a continue after you finish thing. Ah, we got a reward. Listen up, everybody. Tomorrow is finally the day for our big trip. Two days have passed really fast. You're only supposed to bring 500 pokey, but you can actually bring as much as you like. You can also bring whatever snacks and items you want. So get yourselves prepared, and we'll see you in the morning. Very well, then, everyone. Let's eat. Finally, the field trip is tomorrow. I'm so looking forward to it. I do wonder where we're going, though. Well, whatever. Let's go to bed early, so we'll be ready to go tomorrow. And we shall save. And I do believe that that shall be it for now. We got a bit of story. We're about to begin another part. We've been going for three hours, I'd say. <laughs> A lot, a lot really happened. Like, we visited all the different continents, even if we haven't actually gone on adventures. We're almost one-tenth of the way through our connection orb. It's kind of like the trip in Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky, maybe. But there it was more like, we're going to go on a like an expedition with this one, we have no idea, because with the guild, they're like, we're gonna go, we're gonna find treasure, and we're gonna do stuff. With this one, we have no idea what Ampharos has in store for us. Because it's the Expedition Society. It could be anything. We're going to go and assassinate a god! But... Yeah, I'm really liking the game, except for the, for like, I'm going to go in here because I don't think it's going to be that big of a difficulty. Then the drift blim happens. That and like the, ooh, we're going to hit you in a line. Which is just mean. Give me the multi-hit moves game. No, that would be mean. That's why we gave you barrage. And that's just evil. We'll definitely have to see what happens next. It's just like, it's kind of funny. That, like, uh, it took, like, 12 chapters before we even slightly have come face-to-face -face with, like, the main conflict. And just, like, the slow burn just keeps on slowly burning. And we're almost 20 hours in. <laughs> Again, so long as there's a decent amount of the actual story happening and it has a good finale, I will be perfectly fine with that. Because, like, obviously we will have to return to Serene Village at some point. Either, like, oh god, that could be it. At the end of the game. Well, at the end of the main story. Like, whatever brought us here is come to an end and we have to leave to the human world. And Gabriel returns to Serene Village because, like, oh my god, my best friend is gone. And he feels, like, heartbroken. And he returns to Serene Village sad. And has to inform everybody. That could possibly be how Serene Village comes back in. But then again, they have Revelation Mountain. So I think we're going to return to Serene Village in a more dramatic context. So who knows? Because, like, we still have, like, the uh, him. Then we have Nuzleaf's weirdness. Because I think that's still got to be a thing, right? His multiple, like, multi-day outings that we know nothing about have to come back in. Again, maybe he's a secret member of the Expedition Society. Somebody called Ampharos to Serene Village. Still no idea what's turning things to stone at all. No idea why they went after Waylord, but then they turn around and say it's mostly affecting legendaries and mythics. 
But we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see where the story doth go. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. The next stream should happen on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time because I'm trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday to try and keep a schedule. If you want other things from me, my link tree holds all that I do. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings with direct links in every bio, description, and other link place that should be. So if you want to watch edited YouTube content from me, my YouTube channel is in there, and I swear I'm working on scripts. So I need to speed that up. If you want to see some art that I made, similar to my little character in the corner, you can see me post art to my various social medias. If you want to read stories I've doff written, links to the places I post my stories are in the link tree. And then finally, as a little donation box, is my Patreon. But ultimately, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. I hope to see you dudes next time. I've been Neon Icy Wings, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye.